I am bearish on Bitcoin, looking for lower prices to come. In this video, I want to make you aware of those price targets, get you ready for profit. And of course, I can educate you along the way. I've got actually some really great insights to share with you above the technical analysis. It comes down to the experience that I have, the intuition, and how I can pass some of these insights on to you. So I hope that you're really looking forward to this one. It's going to be good. And let's get down to the analysis. So locally here, we are actually getting a bounce off of a pretty significant zone and that is the uptrend anchored view app i'll always talk about how i love this level so we are at a very big important level once again but i am not longing this and i am looking for lower to come so get ready to know why first of all i actually want to explain the past 24 hours of price action here because this was a difficult trading zone and if you were not a champion member i reckon a lot of you will have been chopped up because without the insights that i shared for sure you would have lost a few different long trades in here so i want to show you what i was telling the members and how of course this is now looking back on it but you can use this same theory going forwards if you want it ahead and real time before the moves well that's what you get in the champion membership right but nevertheless there's still a lot you can learn with this little section here so it all comes down to the context building because of course we rejected off of this major level here at 69,500. but for that there was no excuse i gave you it all all ahead of time here on a YouTube stream titled The Importance of $69,500. We were in a rising wedge. We had that daily naked point of control target. You know, to the members, I was repeating how important we do have to remain patient for that target to be hit. Do not short until we tap that target. Of course, we came up, we tapped that target, ending with the most perfect bearish reaction from the one minute chart well, up to the daily chart, everything with just wick taps onto 69,500 for the most amazing short trade entry. And from there, as you can see, we had to remain a bit patient. But I want to talk about this section on that weekly naked point of control on the daily, because technically this looked like a really nice trade ahead of time, right? You had this more local. Let me just show you what it would have looked like. So imagine we don't have the price action that we've had over the past 24 hours. You'd have had this local uptrend anchored VWAP followed by a weekly naked point of control on a daily level. And you'd have also had this last low, high, higher low, higher high. Well, then this is all part of this, I would still say in part of the same move to bring you new higher high, right? So you could take absolutely acceptable a Fibonacci also from that low to this high. And you would have had a CC Fibonacci retracement on a weekly naked point of control on then just below it a weekly naked point of control sorry on a daily level so you had like three four strong levels of confluence so you can say technically speaking that is a really nice support level right you would have thought technically i agree very strong so why did i end up telling my team in the champion members i am not going to be long in this this level for me i expect to be broken thus remain in shorts and i am not going to be taking the long trade i will show you with a little clip from the champions live stream itself and of course we're in the discord reminding people not taking any longs you really feel that we got a major swing short trade here and i'm happy to stay in that short trade but if you just pay attention to this just one minute the insights before we hit that level what i was thinking mm. I'm not going to lie, that, that really could be enough to make me not want to take that long. Uh, I think it's a trade I'd prefer to miss. I don't know. I like to trade a lot off of intuition, and I, and I just have a feeling that I, I think we can get a reaction. Yes, I, I do think we can get a reaction off of that anchored VWAP daily naked point of control zone. But I just have a feeling it's not going to pump us up to new highs. I, I, I just think, and again, this is just a feeling, it's nothing else, but I just have a feeling that we can actually get a bigger retracement here. I think this is a, is a major level when I think about it. Um, and, I, and I think if we're going to take the high, it would be so much nicer to get a deep retracement, right? Build up some... So I was talking to my team about, although technically this is a nice support zone. Again, we have the weekly naked point of control, daily anchored view app, local CC. Technically, it's a very nice trade. But I was trading off of my intuition again. I've been trading over a decade. And when you have that much experience trading every single day, uh, you start to get a really good feeling from the market. And this is why I think a lot of people would have made the mistake here of trying to take a few different long trades. Because without that intuition, that level of experience, you would have have actually viewed this as a very good long trade technically sound you know from the technical analysis the confluence very nice you could have even viewed it as thinking to yourself well if we're looking at this as a 
low, this as a high, you could have really been thinking to yourself, well, here, retrace into a higher low continuation for another level of confluence. So there was technically a lot of reasons for you to take that long. But then it was the insights that I gave to the champion members in this live stream, talking them through the Discord. For me, I'm not going to take the longs. Around half an hour later, we actually did get a move, bam, straight through all of that. And so you can see the importance of experience in this market. Because if it wasn't for that intuition or that just feeling, and this is something that I cannot really teach, right? I cannot teach the feelings that I get because that's only learnt through experience, right? You can, I can teach you the technical analysis, but I cannot teach experience that you have to learn yourself. And that is why I will always say trading in that regards is relatively hard because you do have to put time dedication into this and understand it is a long learning process. You know, there's people that can come in and learn everything, you know, one year, two years, they've got everything in terms of theory, they can still be profitable, but they lack that long term experience to gain that next level of intuition. You've seen it many times, right? I'll draw the line that Bitcoin follows along with our magic lines. And this was just another example of that. But Moving on, you know, through then throughout the next 24 hours after we had that original move down, I continue to remind my team I'm still not longing Bitcoin. I'm not even interested in the scope longs here because I'm following the overall bias. And that is, you know, that we're still going to come down lower. Also, some <laughs> epic short trades. I was talking to my team playing out these anchored view apps. Look at that to the dollar anchored view app on Prime. Of course, um, <laughs> this was lovely on the silly trade that down over 50 percent now by the way, just some lovely short trades that we've been taking in the group. But, um, you know, continuing on with Bitcoin yesterday, reminding my team again, no longs for me yet, short, you know, remaining lower prices to come. Look at the Anchored View app on Bitcoin there too. Perfect touch, perfect touch, perfect touch. I mean, Anchored View app stripes again for another third perfect touch. It was it was a Anchored View app uh, powerful day what can i say and then again this morning reminding my team still with the bearish bias no longs yet remaining in short trades and here we can actually see you know that today even still we've continued to make new lows uh, coming down to lower prices so you can see the original bias paid off really well and I made that very 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 clear to the champion members but to be fair even over on twitter i've been reminding you that um, you know that big support zone of the weekly uh, naked point of control on the daily you know i'm, I'm expecting the drop straight through so i'm going to remain patient for those lower prices that was back on the uh, 21st so two days ago and making another post you know yesterday you know recognizing the weakness after that 69,500 target for now remaining in my short trades not taking any longs remaining pay shouldn't for lower right we knew exactly what we had to be going for and to be fair it's following the plan that I gave you last week ahead of time on YouTube so you know basically tra trade the plan play the trend and get <laughs> plan the trade trade the plan um and again easier said than done it definitely would have been oh you know you would have been eager to take some longs around here but that guidance that i gave to the members really paid off nicely as we refrained from taking any longs and just remaining now and that what i feel is a major potential swing short trade so that brings us up to now that's uh, enough of going through what we've seen and i hope that you've managed to take something from that i like to cover the past 24 hours of price action so you can gain some of the insights again here we're going over it in hindsight but you have to remember everything that i've gone through was given ahead of time to the members so i'm making those informed decisions and again i could have been wrong imagine if we had just pumped yesterday and i was saying no longs remaining shorts you know lower prices are going to be coming Can you imagine if you know yesterday we had pumped well i would have had to have come in this video and said hey i got this wrong i unfortunately um, made a mistake and i could have explained and talked you through that mistake right when i'm giving such conviction to my analysis with great confidence you know i do this to inspire confidence in the members to show them i know what i'm talking about and this is what we're looking at of course i open myself up with such you know conviction in my analysis to be absolutely wrong and if that had been the case i would have uh, learned from that and you know talked about it here so i could have educated you too but thankfully once again <laughs> i was right on that call and we have now made our way down through very strongly now through that weekly daily naked point of control and we're heading actually well you can see where we are right now just tapping the anchored view app of the uptrend so i'll always say that this is a very lovely support level i personally have not longed it even though i do feel we can get a reaction from it yes it's not enough for me to actually be interested in the swing long as it stands and i'm going to explain why 
Okay, first of all, we're half an hour away from the New York Open. I'm seeing the New York Open, and I would like personally pivots to be put in at least during that New York session, not slightly before. So understanding, yes, definitely don't want to be shorting now. Like you, if you're shorting now, then you are um, crazy, let's just say. Like this is for me, again, I am bearish and I'm expecting lower, but there's a difference between bearish expecting lower and shorting rises to resistance even the uh, anchored view app opportunities right you're more than acceptable to short these rises into the anchored view app but shorting support at a support anchored view app you know this is naturally not the time to be shorting you had a few opportunities namely of course the overall high <laughs> uh, or into the anchored view app you were given a few different opportunities uh, but shorting at the lows here pff, oh, that's just trading suicide not something that i would ever be um you know talking through through my community here who I want to do well as an option of a trade. So we do definitely refrain from shorting at support and that's where we're at right now. But it's just because I don't want to short, it doesn't mean I want to long here either. For me, the opportunity, yes, I recognize we can get a bounce, but overall I am expecting still continuation to the downside. So I, you can see where I've got my alert next. This is a potential for me, again, very much based off of the reaction, very much based off of the order flow. So this is something that I'll be updating in the time to my members, but I am currently still looking for lower to around this daily naked point of control during New York session would be perfect. Over the next, you know, I'll give that 24, another 24, 48 hours. Okay, I understand we can get a bit of a bounce here, but overall, I feel think we're coming down lower to at least, okay, I repeat at least, this daily naked point of control. What do I mean by that? Well, of course, we can come down here and get a reaction and a bounce, right? But why I mean at least is because I understand we can come down there, get a small reaction, end in another lower high, and we're starting to come down to much bigger support levels. And like I was telling you over on Twitter, right, we're really looking for much lower prices right now. So, um, you know, I'm understanding we're at support. You know, we do not want to be shorting support. Great. If we get a big bounce to the upside, we can look to compound into our short trades. But as it stands, we do have to remain a bit patient because I cannot short support. I'm not that interested in the long. I'm more in short, I'm interested in a short off of a bounce because I am expecting lower prices. And again, I'm more than happy for that to be at this daily naked point of control. So we took it from the original plan of daily naked point of control, break through that rising wedge down to the lower naked point of control. Happy for that. But again, if we do not get the reaction necessary here and I need order flow confirmation, if we do not get that bullish reaction here, well then, yeah, I'll, I'll be starting to look and accept much, much lower prices to come down towards $62,000, $63,000, right? Um, so that is like the way that I have worked my bias, how I have worked out my trading plan. Um, again, a few different factors that I can summarize here to help you uh, learn. First of all, context is key, right? So I only was able to make the informed decision of not wanting to long here based off of reading the context, because although there was technically good confluence, the context is what made me have that intuition to realize I do not want to long here because I am expecting a bigger drop through the level. And that was because we rejected off of 69,500, which for me absolutely was key, very big, important level. If we are to get another bounce above, I think that this is not a deep enough for retracement. We have not taken enough liquidity. Thus, I'm not expecting it to hold. And through that, of course, uh, you get that through that intuition, through the experience. And then it comes to a point of, okay, now we've hit, for example, the anchored VWAP, but we haven't hit it during the New York session. So I would be re holding off of this long. That's just one factor. The other factor is overall, I'm expecting that daily naked point of control to be here. I really don't think we get the front run. So that's another factor of like, yeah, I could maybe make half a percent little scalp here, but it's not really worth it in the grand scheme of things, uh, you know, trading against what I feel is my higher bias of the, um, you know, higher bias in terms of probabilities of lower prices will come. <laughs> um, so those factors together make me think I'm not going to take a long here. I'm going to be, as I've been telling my group now for the past four days, um, you know, no longs yet in short trades, still looking for no elect next on Bitcoin. And that is going to be to our daily naked point of control. And if we do not get the bullish reaction, well, then that's where I open myself up to much lower prices. If we get a lovely bullish reaction, well, then that's where I'll be looking for my next long trade. I wouldn't close a short. We keep that trading down, but I would be open myself up to a long at that point.
If this has been confusing for you, this video, then you need to get yourself over to chartchampions.com right now, <laughs> enroll in the educational modules and get yourself watching through this course. Once you've done that, you can then join us on our live trading streams, following along in the Discord, because you'll have a great understanding of what we're talking about, the reasons why, and you know we can fast track you to your road of profitability. And we really try and keep this simple, easy to understand. Of course, there are complex topics, don't get me wrong, and I will never say trading is easy, but we do try and make things as easy as possible for you. Okay, that's why we have this service to really excel your journey and accelerate it to becoming a consistently profitable trader. If that sounds interesting to you, you're more than welcome to join the community here at Chart Champions. We will welcome you with your open arms and really want you to succeed. So if that sounds good to you, you can check us out. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day. You now know my bias, you know the trades that I'm still in, and we will see whether I am right or wrong. Do we hit at least that daily naked point in control? Time will tell. I'm going to upload this now. Thank you ever so much. Have a brilliant day. And that's me signing out. I love you all. Have a good one. And that's me signing up. <laughs> I'm bad at ending videos, right? Do not shoot me. I'm bad at ending videos. But now I will end this video. Thank you and goodbye.